Sadan. So this holiday season brings us, forces us to come together, right? All the parties and uh, gatherings around the holiday season. And this means that we come together with our family, our family of origin. So this is a real test. I mean, if you think you've traveled so far in terms of your consciousness and your spiritual growth and your healing journey, to place you back into your family of origin can be a real litmus test on really how well you're doing. Because when we come together, there's, you know, it's not just that we're talking with our voice, we're communicating on so many different levels energetically. So you could just be standing by a family member and right, there's like agitation in the aura and there's uh, emotions coming up uh, through this interaction and there's negativity that comes up, all of that stuff. And one of the big tests is kindness. You know, for the Aquarian age, we're really bringing this, this uh, notion of kindness back on the planet. And it's easy to be kind to people who are kind to you. That's easy. But to be kind to people that are not kind to you, that are very unkind to you, that's a real test. So you want to approach this holiday season with that in mind that you want to stay in your center because that's when all the trouble starts is when you leave your center so i want you to know the spiritual truth so that you can bring this into your wherever you're going right wherever you're orbiting this holiday season is to remember that there's only ever one person in the room there's only ever one person in the room doesn't make sense to the mind or the ego, but your soul completely knows that as truth. So, <laughs> you're the only ever one person in the room. You're in the room. Let's say your mother comes up and she starts judging your life. You know, you should be doing what your cousin Sally is doing. She's so happy, right? However, she's judging your life. What does this mean? There's only one person in the room. Your mother is reflecting back to you how you judge yourself. Okay, so we're only experiencing life through our own mind. Okay, so if your mind is judgmental, that means that you'll attract people in your life that are going to mirror back that judgment to you. But the ego wants to react and I want to give her a piece of my mind and I want to prove to her that I'm not this and I'm not that. That's all a waste of your energy. You want to stay in the center. There's only one person in the room. And you just take it in. Okay? And you own whatever emotions or feelings come up for you, which is usually like, I don't feel loved. Like, if we if we reduce it right to the kernel is I don't feel loved. Okay. So you take care of yourself because if somebody is making you, this is the ego story. Somebody's making me angry or it's making me sad or upset. That's not the truth. Those feelings of, you know, unworthiness and feeling unloved and angry and sad and afraid Those existed long, long before these people um, made you feel this way. They're already inside you. All those emotions and stuff are already inside you. So do this and also put down the script. You know, we all play roles with one another. And those roles are so entrenched in the family of origin. You know, we all have our roles that we play. Put down your script. Right in energy and in energy, say, I'm done with this script. I don't want to play this role anymore in my family. And this in turn will send a ripple effect and you'll notice changes in your family dynamic. 
You know, if you're the one that, oh, I always fight with my father. Every Christmas we get in an argument about something. Put down the script. This year that's not going to happen. But it takes some discipline, right? And some um, self-responsibility for what you're attracting. The other thing to remember is whatever you want from your parents, whatever in your family, whatever comes up, I wish they would just accept me for who I am. Okay? Listen to the words that come out of your mouth. The first thing it's telling you is you need to accept yourself. Okay? Number one. And then number two, give to them what you want from them. Give it to them. Accept them. No matter how annoying their behavior is, just completely, completely accept them. Now, if you're in a situation where the negativity is just like full on, right? People are complaining, people are blaming, uh, people are gossiping, people are talking about old stories from the past, all these old moldy stories from the past, right? And you're just feeling like, oh, my center, I'm losing my center. I feel like I'm getting pulled down into this negative vibration. It's not about controlling out here. That's not going to work. It's about go, It's about staying inside. That's how you shift. You want to do this meditation. This is a Kundalini Yoga meditation left to us by Yogi Bhajan. And it's to remove any negative energies that we take on from others. Okay? And it helps... Also, if you're in a negative situation, to withdraw your energy from that. And I also want to add to that that there's no victims because people can get into the space of like, I don't want to take on their negative vibes. It's right. Whenever you get into us and them, you'll dig a bit deeper and you'll find the ego behind that. That person that may have a lot of negative energy that's very in victim consciousness usually, like with the complaining and the blaming and the gossiping and everything's horrible and miserable. To not buy into the story that that's them. The, my Aunt Rose, she just goes on and on and on about her health and about the government and complaining. Don't do that, okay? Aunt Rose is just holding negativity. She's holding a negative vibration within her aura. Okay, so just watch that. That's not her. The thing is you want to keep your vibration up so that your aura is uplifting everyone that you come in contact with. So please practice this meditation. It's really, really fast. You know, I think it's like under two minutes and uh, send it to anyone else in your life that you feel would benefit from that. Okay, have a great holiday season. Sat Nam.